Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. for 3 p.m. Central. I'm here live. George Humphrey's our guest. By the way, I want to just point out that he has made several documentary films and written a bunch of books. 911, The Great Illusion by George Humphrey is an easy, quick read. It's a color booklet full of photographs and diagrams and graphics. This is one of the best books. And we sell these right at cost. I mean, these are super inexpensive. I forget what they are, like $5, $4 or something. Uh, we've got his film, 911, The Great Illusion. Uh, it's uh, excellent. Uh, so, again, it's all available at Infowars.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. He's also a big part of our new film, Fall of the Republic. And here's some posters for you, George. Well, thank you very much. And as I told you, I'm going to frame this this rascal. It's beautiful and put it in my office. And, and again, I was in the Obama deception and enjoyed that. And the Obama deception, the quality of the production was incredible. And the fall of the republic is the professionalism that this is presented in is even better. So, I, you know, clearly I'm biased because I'm in the movie, but... It's worth Well, you do a great job breaking it down, so please uh, visit the online video bookstore at InfoWars.com. Uh, before I go any further, I do want to tell you about a couple of the sponsors that made today's radio show possible. One of them is a Cola Blue. Did you know you could be drinking fresh, clean water made right from the air you breathe? No, this isn't something out of a science fiction book. Our sponsor, a Cola Blue, with the Cola Blue 28 machine, will allow you to do just that. It's easy to use, and it will make up to 7.5 gallons of water per day. The water, once generated, passes through a seven-stage filter process, including reverse osmosis and carbon filtration techniques, ensuring that you know exactly what you are drinking. No chemicals, pollutants, or fluoride we spend so much time talking about here on the radio broadcast. Get your very own source of unlimited renewable drinking water, for you and your family today by visiting them on their website at colablue.com or by clicking on their banners on infowars.com and prisonplanet.com or give them a call today at 800-691-6043. Uh, and continuing with one other sponsor, eFoodsDirect.com is non-GMO, non-hybrid. They have fully organic lines as well. They have uh, different food lines for all different sorts of uh, uh, special diets that people are on. They have three-day, seven-day packs. It, it, it's all dehydrated, so it's very easy to carry. The meals are 50% bigger than most other companies. It tastes great. Uh, eFoodsDirect.com. Everybody should have storable food so you're not dependent on the system. This is insurance you can eat. eFoodsDirect.com. Big banners up on InfoWars.com. Or give them a call at 1-800-409-5633. You'll never stand in a bread line if you have your own food. If you have your own bread, 800-409-5633 or eFoodsDirect.com. Okay, George, I want to go through a bunch of subjects with you and then take some calls here while we have you today. Um, on the subject of militarization of police, they're everywhere. They're giving people tickets for no reason. They're taking people's kids without due process, uh, the CPS, uh, the taxes, the bureaucracy, the state taxes, the international taxes, California and Oregon passing carbon taxes, the carbon tax. I have an article here from PrisonPlanet.com that has links to mainstream news, the Washington Post. U.S. military employs counterinsurgency strategy in California City. Former Special Forces colonel says violence hit town is a laboratory as Washington Post advocates nationwide implementation of troops on the streets in America. Uh, this is really happening. I mean, this is real bona fide tyranny. Your take on that? Well, as they say, power tends to corrupt. And absolute power corrupts absolutely. And this is just a fact of life. And as the power elite, those who are in separation consciousness, those who are in fear consciousness, realize that the Internet and the consciousness of the people is increasing more and more. And the people like Alex Jones and myself and Paul Craig Roberts and the hundreds of thousands of other patriots around the country who are working for a better, freer, sovereign nation and world right now are getting the message out and getting the message out very effectively, these people are freaking out. And they are, the first thing that they think of is getting a bigger stick, trying to knock us down, trying to hit us, trying to control us. And, of course, the, the police departments are, are the main place. Now, most of the cops don't know what's going on. Now, when I was a city council member, we still had a peace officers. We had peace officers. And we had policemen that were there for the people of Austin. And as a matter of fact, it wasn't that long ago that police officers and peace officers wore blue and the sheriffs wore brown. 
And now they're all in black. I see that Maryland is just, not Maryland, but Massachusetts, which is supposed to be the home of the most liberal people in the, in the country now, have got all their police officers in all black. And they were in the news. A police chief said, this is to intimidate yes. you. And it's like the Praetorian Guard. And, and again, history tends to repeat itself. And just like the Caesar, when it went from a republic to an empire, they created the Praetorian Guard. And the Praetorian Guard, of course, all wore all black. And that is a psychological way to create fear. And all of this is a choice between fear and love, between separation and coming together. And this, you know, as I've said a thousand times, this is bigger than just an economic or a political or a cultural war. This is a time for each and every one of us to make a choice. It's a time of spiritual choice, whether we're going to live in unity consciousness and cooperation and be sovereign and free and love our, first of all, love ourselves and our family and our world and the good things that that government can bring, such as the Constitution, or whether we're going to close our eyes and we're going to listen to these rascals and all of their, all of their lies and Everything that they're saying to us, ABC, CBS, NBC, Time, Newsweek, you know, every place, it's all propaganda to create fear. So that Well, George, there's no yes. longer any doubt. I mean, every if there was a checklist of 30 things that are tyranny. They've double-checked everything. They, it's now admitted, and this started decades ago, but that almost all TV is government paid for, and they're writing the scripts with all these messages of tyranny. Uh, it's including in NPR, and for all my good liberal friends, oh, it's who the worst. Still listen to NPR. Wake up! It's the worst. Just because they say it with kind of a sweet, a loving, voice. oh, a oh, soft. Oh, it, it just, it's hypnotizing. It makes me physically ill to listen to those hypocrites. Physically ill, and I'll tell you what. Look at Obama expanding all the wars. The the decept your first movie on this the Obama deception you got to underword the word deception because this guy even though he's the most incredibly charismatic person who's been on the scene for the last fifty years it's all about deception 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 every single one of his promises as you have pointed out again and again and again. He's gone 180 degrees apart. And I still see my friends who are, oh, Obama, Obama. And so I say, well, do you support the war? And they, and they kind of shake a little bit. And, and most of them run off because they know that there's going to be a, an intelligent discussion because they're cognitive dissidents. And remember this term, cognitive dissidents. And it's something that we all have is that we invest our time, energy, or money in a concept is that when we find out that that concept is not right, psychologically we create barriers and fight against that. And that's what's called having an open mind in listening. And every single point that Obama made on, on the campaign trail, as you have so eloquently pointed out and so factually pointed out, he's gone 180% against it. He is so far more of what is classically called a fascist than even George Bush. And, and, and people say, well, you're just a Republican. And four years ago, they were saying, you're just a Democrat. You know, we're neither Democrat or Republican. We are American citizens who believe in the Constitution. This is not a question of right or wrong, uh, you know, right or left. It's a question of right or wrong. Do we want freedom? Do we want truth? Do we want a better America? Or are we going to be well, asleep? Well, the American people have not been taught in the last 30, 40 years what tyranny is. And so they're told, here's freedom, but it's really tyranny. And then they tell the public that those of us that are for freedom, that we're the bad ones. I mean, I've had Salon and all six of George Soros's big publications and the New Republic and the ADL and CBS and the Jerusalem Post all in the last day come out and say, no longer are they just ignoring me or making fun of me or just attacking me. They're now saying, we got to shut this guy up. He's dangerous. And the reason they're now saying this is they're watching our growth curve. Yeah. And the thing. But, but, but yeah. it's going straight up. And I, I say to them, I am trying to be loving. I, I know they're wrong. I know they're abusive. I know they're hurting my country. I know they're involved in evil. And 
I'm telling them now, and I'm going to look at them right now and tell them, you're in the wrong. You know you're bad. You know you're lying. You know you're using duplicity. You know the New World Order is real. I mean, the ADL and CBS wrote articles saying, I'm this big liar. I say they're setting up a world government. I mean, it's all over the news. Earlier on the show, I went over a bunch of mainstream. I mean, look at this. Financial Times of London. This is one of thousands in the last year. Yes. And now for world government. And this article says, we've lied to you for your own good. We're taking over. It's authoritarian. These are quotes. Here's another one. 